everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Sleeping Dogs. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having so much fun playing this for you guys. We're approaching near the end of the game, so I hope you guys have been enjoying it. And if you do, please do drop a like on it because it does help the series out a lot and does help the algorithm. So let's do the next mission here. Sorry, I always gotta, sometimes I gotta wait like 30 seconds because if there's any curses within the first 30 seconds, the video gets demonetized by YouTube, unfortunately. Okay, so I think we're good here. <laughs> I don't mind you fucking her is one of the perks, but she has to understand the consequences if she disappoints me. Are we clear? Of course, Sonny. You're not getting attached, are you? A man of your caliber? You don't need to worry about that. I hope not. Way, come in, have a drink. You ever fuck some famous pussy, Way? Not yet. Maybe one day. <laughs> it's a trip, man, let me tell you. You drive by one of those billboards the size of a building, and you tell yourself, I'm going to her place, bend her over the table, and mm, and then you do it. There's no other feeling like it. <laughs> okay, uh, speaking of stars, I need to go pick up Vivian. Let Wei do it. You and I have more business to discuss. How about it, Wei? Think you can handle a smoking hot starlet for the day? Uh, sure, you know, as long as Ricky doesn't think I'm moving in on his territory. <laughs> nah, of course not. Here, take my car. <laughs> you take good care of my little starlet. Go ahead and fuck her if you want. Just don't damage the goods. So Sonny Woe is a bit a bit of a creep, as you guys have noticed. And um take Ricky's car. Viven is um uh, she's a celebrity and she is um uh, Ricky's uh, girlfriend. And, um, Sonny, um, uses her to get into relationships with people, and then blackmails them. Ricky sent me. Didn't he tell you? No, I was expecting Ricky. Everything okay? Everything is not okay. Is it wrong of me to want to see my boyfriend? Why do I have to put up with this? No, Vivi, it's not wrong. And you put up with it because Ricky loves you. But... But what? Since your boyfriend isn't driving, I get to sit in front. <laughs> Why are the bad ones always so good looking? I'm Sandra. What's your name again? It's Way. Ricky talks about him a lot. Oh, all nice things, I'm sure. And you're here to basically do whatever we want? Uh, something like that. What do you have in mind? Hmm. Do you have steady hands at high speeds? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I can provide references if you like. Uh, are you trying to talk him into one of those street races you always go on about? So that's Sandra, and Sandra is the, um, the final girlfriend. I will have a video on all so the dates the deal, once Wei? I beat the game. A gangster like Ricky? He's not a gangster, don't say that. Let's say I'm as much of a gangster as Ricky. Oh, that's too bad. Recently I've wanted to date a gangster. Well, maybe I'll see if I can find one for you. That would be nice. What's Ricky doing anyways? Why is he too busy? I don't know. Something with Sonny. Sonny? That guy's a creep and a perv. Sorry, baby. It's okay. Why? What'd he do? Nothing, but he tried. I was at a party on Wallace Chung's yacht. I was like, mm, 16. I got so high. <laughs> Great party. Aw, oh, damn, I'm sorry. I didn't know that would skip the dialogue. That's him, that's him. Pull up. Hi, Alex. How are you? Huh. This is your new boyfriend? Not yet. Why? Are you jealous? Of this guy? Hey, so Sandra says you like to race. How about it? Now, if you win, I'll let you take the girls home. Way? I'm not sure how much that's worth. Okay, we race for the girls and a hundred thousand. Sure, I'll take your money too. You racing with the girls in your car? The extra weight will slow you down, idiot. Think of it as your head start, Alex. Because you're gonna need it. Think of it as your head start. 
I'll show him. This is gonna be great. All right, all right, all right. Vivian and I won't talk. What I like about the races in Sleeping Dogs is that they actually tell you how much percent you've completed. That's what I like about it. So it's um 10% completed already, it says. Okay. You know how to drive. Like some of them crashed already. Okay, one third of the race has been completed already. Whoa, oh my God, okay. The is, beating so fast. is that the police? I don't want to get arrested. That could be really bad. Yeah, it looks like the police are here. Kind of weird how all the traffic just seems to disappear whenever there's a street race. There we go, took care of that. Well, we just destroyed that guy in this race. Oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. Great. <laughs> Steady hands. Gotta give you that. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, get a room, you two. Oh, shit! The police! Yeah, probably best to get out of here. Oh, cops, perfect. Get back in Ricky's car. Damn, I keep forgetting the steering wheel's on the right side in Hong Kong. Time to go. The police! The police? Are they after us? Oh no! Don't worry, it'll be fine. Right, way? Yeah, it'll be fine, don't worry. They're shooting at street racers? <laughs> okay. Nice work, way. Driving is home, right? Of course. Well, unless Sandra has some other exciting plan. <laughs> You're driving us home, right? Of course. Well, unless Sandra has some other exciting plan. <laughs> oh, that's it, just over there. Yeah, Ricky, I used your car in a street race and I kind of totaled it. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was fun, Way. <laughs> Thanks. Anytime. Vivi, give Way my number and tell him he can take me out on a second date. <laughs> Sandra says you can take her on a second date if you want. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Thanks. Thanks for taking us out today. It was my pleasure. Oh, so this is the final apartment. We just unlocked it. Uh, okay. Perform an action hijack while being chased by the police reduces waste heat. Okay. 
Pride upgrades. Way recovers faster from a failed counter. Climb up your enemies, okay. Yeah, this is the final apartment. This is my favorite apartment too, is this one. Yeah, this is this I can't imagine how expensive a place oh like this. It's Eliana. I need your help. Yeah, sure. What's going on? My friend Katushka, she's gone missing. Nobody's seen her in a week. Katushka doesn't have a visa. She's she's illegal. Girls like her go missing all the time, but usually they don't have anywhere to go for help. I'll take it out. Would you? Oh, thank you. So I think that's the case, um, And um, so, yeah, this, I cannot imagine how, how, how much money a place like this in Hong Kong would cost. This, this is something like only a millionaire could live in. So here we go, let's purchase some upgrades to our final apartment. Hot tub. Okay. What do you have that's a little different? The world's best pussy in my dad. This thing's practically guaranteed hot, lasty, dirty sex. This one is a great deal. Badly used. Now you got a sale. Thanks, Mr. Shin. My installer will be right over. Make sure you load up the car in. So that's that one. And um, uh, the thing is, though, the next upgrade is right here. It's really close by. <laughs> you got anything for me today? The finest greenery in the city. Turn your home into a lush, welcoming environment. All right, I'll take it. An excellent choice. I know you will enjoy how it makes your place feel. An idol, okay. I need to make an impression. What do you have? Something every man in your line of work needs, my son. Guan Yi, God of War and Triad. Confirm purchase of an idol of Guan Yi, Yi, Yi for your uh, Kennedy Town apartment. I'm assuming it's pronounced Yi like he said, even though it says you. Uh, did I purchase it? Okay, wait, what the? Okay, I'll take it. That was weird. He will look after you. My delivery guys will drop them off shortly. <laughs> you got anything for me today? I have brand new Fosochromis. Big, very colorful. No tank is complete without one. A fish, okay. Purchase it. All right, I'll take it. Thanks. I'll have my technician drop one off on his way back from the harbor today. So we'll um come back to the apartment later on in the video. Let's do the next Hi, mission hey. now. Funying, funying, funying. Kind of you to join me. Care for some tea? I like yum tea. Ta. Thank you. Tu Jin Sao seems to be getting very comfortable in his new position as temporary chairman. Too comfortable. I hear that he is already planning to make it permanent, should Uncle Po not recover. A big smiley will kill him before he'll let that happen. Indeed. And that would allow Lee to take over the Sun on Yi himself. But that can't happen. No, it cannot. Tu Jin must go. Tan Hai, he must not be removed by force. He must step down on his own, after which there will be an election. Why would he step down? Tu Jin likes heroin. So far, he has managed to control his habit. Dan Hai, anyone who indulges as he does, lives permanently on the brink of an abyss. Nah, I've arranged for the quality of his supply to improve. And now, you will give him a nudge. Over the edge. Okay, how? He is an immensely superstitious man, 
how my son ga obsessed with feng shui he cannot bear to have the slightest thing out of place for fear of the misfortune it will bring and you want me to make sure his luck turns bad very bad <laughs> i like your style i will Oh, get inside the crab car. Mrs. Chen want you to talk to me. Hey, you broken noses guy? Miss Jin told me to tag along. Give you feng shui advice. Feng shui ah. A lot of people live by it. Feng shui is huge in Hong Kong. You believe that? Yeah. I've been spending a lot of time reading about ghosts and the supernatural. Want to make sure nobody I kill can hurt me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, uh, Tu Chin is Uncle Po's nephew, and remember, he's temporary chairman right now. And, um, uh, Big Smile Lee is gonna want to try to kill him and take over the position as, um, uh, chairman of Sun An Yi. So they're gonna try to make him step down, um, voluntarily by scaring him. Goodbye, Mr. Chow. Have a nice day. Uh, right on schedule. Usually goes gambling at this time. Tu Chin loses money fast. We better hurry up. How we can do that game? We'll find a way in. Come on. Okay. I found a lot of these health shrines, and these health shrines, you, you know, you find a bunch of them. They give you upgrades for your health, which is very, um, very useful. Wait. You think we can get over the wall at the neighbors? got a delivery for you? Really? My husband didn't tell me. He better not have ordered something stupid from the internet again. <laughs> that's the, um, uh, that's a reference to Amazon there. You got all kinds of skills, don't you, kid? Reminds me of myself when I was your age. Less soft. <laughs> I bet you smarter, but probably not as tough. Fast talk your way past I'm any guards and Damn. locate Tuchin's mansion. Okay. If you are ever in an up What? You never heard of a grand massage? What are you doing here? Delivering Tu Chin's new package. You want to tell him you turned us away? Oh, sorry, sir. Carry on. So if you're ever living in an apartment complex and somebody, you know, buzzes and says, like, you know, uh, we have a package or cleaning, you know, don't, um, don't buzz them in unless you are absolutely certain of who they are. Because that's what thieves will do oftentimes, is they'll say, we're cleaning, you know, buzz us in, and people buzz them in without ever thinking. That's a common tactic thieves use. Wait here, I'll open the gate from the inside. Look at this place, man. This mansion. Hey, you want me to kick the door down? No, because he's gonna know that we were here if you kick the door down. Hurry up, kid. I think I see a car. Damn. There we go. Look at this place. Man, if I were him, I spend my money differently. So it's right, you're the expert. What are we doing? I tend to, huh? There's stuff to make it seem like there's ghosts that don't like him. What about those vases? Could so I Tu Chin is um just me four. Sounds the same as death in Chinese. I know four is bad, but shouldn't we try something else? <laughs> We're some pretty unoriginal ghosts. So Tu Chin isn't as smart as Uncle Po. You can see, you know, he's living in such luxury, which is bound to attract police attention. 
So, um, apparently, number four, what does that mean in Chinese that he said? Um, he said that that's, that's un unlucky. Somebody let me know in the comments down below if this is true or something. Um, oh, crack the safe. He really buys into this hocus pocus shit? can't blame the guy. So has got more money than taste. Can I get that statue too? I almost had it. Got you. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. See that clock? Set the time 444 and unplug it. That'll freak them out. 444. <laughs> yeah, this could work. His sponsor is fucked now. <laughs> Turn the piano so it faces the wrong way. I help, but I put my grand climber on 101. Highly love my crutches and what it used to be. I'm at the law. Ah, got him up. I think we're done here. Old Two Chin's gonna freak. Either he think goes fucking with him, or he knows his home is insecure. <laughs> Somebody coming, we better go. Mr. Chow, is that you? Anybody in there? What do we do? Just hide. Stay calm. The guard would see that the ba the vases are broken. Anybody in there? Okay, is everything okay there? Looks like Mr. Chow forgot to close his gate again. I'm gonna get something to eat. You want anything? You ordering food from the Golden Koi Zoom? I'll be right down. They're gone. Come on. Gate you out. Two chin loses his money fast. We better hurry up. Okay, leave the gated community. But um, I'm really curious about this. Somebody. No, there's a camera. Yep. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'm gonna hack this camera here. Let's take care of this. So, uh, why do they call you old salty crab? Uh, well, that was this restaurant guy who owed me money. Couldn't pay. He told me I could eat for free at his restaurant until he paid. That way. I wouldn't cut off his hand like I normally would. So a crab was the most expensive thing on the menu. I had that every night for about a year. He said, Nina. So they used to call me Salty Crab after that. Then I got old. I'm old Salty Crab. Damn, okay, this is just... Okay, five... Three... Five D last step on it, kid! Three, six, there we go. Oh shit, I think he's home. Get down. But, um, let me know in the comments down below if this is actually, uh, real, guys. Is, like, 4, 444, is that, like, something like a curse number? Or something in, like, um, in, in Hong Kong? Is that, like, considered bad luck? I'm really curious on that. If anybody knows. must have been rigged. I never had a game like that before. Never! Why, why did you stop me? It's your job to protect me, isn't it? Fucking rodents, all of you. The guy's an idiot because if you try to stop the boss from playing at a casino, he's gonna freak out on you. But if what you don't this? stop him, he's gonna freak out on you. Look at this. How can you let this happen? It's all gone to shit. Gone to shit. What do you want us to do, boss? Get out. Get out. I need to think! Chalaya! Wait, the guy left that car with his jacket. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take the guard's car. Nice. Ah, oh, 
damn well. I always wanted to get myself one of these. <laughs> one of these? <laughs> really? Ah, yeah, okay, bad idea. You're a strange guy, old salty. Ooh, hey, I have a delivery here from the Golden Coin. Hurry up, I've been waiting for you for hours. Nice work, kid. You got your salty style. I comes in. See you later, kid. Old salty style. <laughs> there we go. Only five hundred dollars for that. Wow, we got ripped off in that mission. Hello. Wait. Miss Chang. How are you? Uncle Poe. He's dead. We're making arrangements for the funeral. Things could get, uh... Complicated. Yes. I'll be in touch. Of course. Whatever you need. So you heard that Uncle Poe um, has died. And um, you don't know exactly why he died. You were thinking that he was going to make a recovery. Let's get on over to the martial arts school now. I found one of your statues. The ox. You have done well. What did you do in the States? What makes you think I did anything different than what I'm doing now? You have the feel of a man wearing another man's skin. It fits very well, and yet, if one knows a man underneath, he clearly isn't right. He seems to know a little bit about Wei. That he's wearing what another man's like skin. He means that uh, he's going undercover, but um, I don't think he fully knows he's a cop, but at least he knows he's pretending to be someone. Ah. Your no ancestors called. They like to disown you. Please stop by again if you find one of my statues. So there's like two statues left to find. What's this car doing here? That's weird. I took a taxi. So here we go, let's go check out our apartment, <clears throat> our apartment upgrades here. So we got the fish, um, I'm assuming those are them in there. Well, what did, what else did we got? We got the idol, right? And then the hot tub. Uh, I'm assuming that's the idol. Um... And the hot tub. Okay, yeah. So that was definitely an uh that was definitely an upgrade there. So uh yeah, this is the final apartment. It's the nicest looking apartment too. I mean look at this place. Um Oh what is that? Is that a sauna in there? Looks like it is, but we can't go in there. So yeah, very fancy, um very fancy penthouse. So that's the final apartment in the game. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'll have the next part up for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you once again. I'll see you guys. Take care, everyone. Hey,